Here we have the 2019 GMC Acadia All-Terrain. This Acadia is gonna come in your black on loft brown leather interior. Your all-terrains come with your 20-inch wheels. Power driver's seat. And three seat second row, so you don't have a third row to maximize your trunk space. But you've got the three-prong household plug-in. Got rear parking sensors, dual exhaust. All that space there. You can also fold the second row down too if you need to. Power lift gate. Power passenger seat. We'll take a look at some of the interior features. Power windows, power mirrors, power door locks. Bose sound system. Electronic parking brake. Got a navigation system here. your backup camera dual zone AC controls heated seats and this is where having the all-terrain really comes in handy you can switch it between several different modes two-wheel drive all-wheel drive snow and ice Your all-terrain stitching in the headrests. And we're gonna go ahead and take it out on the roads and see how it performs. Overall, good ride. Just driving through the parking lot here. I'm definitely lower to the ground than in a Yukon or an Escalade. I feel like I'm more in a car and it kind of makes me want to drive a little faster. But we'll see how it handles. I'm going to put it in all wheel drive mode. 
kind of see what happens. Come out onto this uh, street right here. See how it drives. My foot wasn't even all the way down. Very, very quick. Surprisingly a lot faster than I thought it would be, and I thought I knew what I was talking about. Let's put it in two-wheel drive mode. Come around the corner. Gas it. The all-wheel drive, surprisingly, is a totally different animal. I felt like I had full control. Um, I felt the transmission kind of... It didn't want me to go and then when it did I could feel the front wheels kind of pulling but let's do it just two wheels yeah acceleration is it's okay but when I put it in all-wheel drive it just it drives a lot better Wind noise not too bad from the driver's seat. I'm doing 75. Ride is fairly smooth. And even though it's been windy all day. I still feel like it's not blowing me around. Very, very distinguished, if I can say. Not top heavy at all. And stopping was very, very smooth. Sitting here at an idle, the car is very quiet. It's not too shaky at all. Acceleration is good enough for a vehicle this size, and surprisingly, nothing crazy is going on with shifting or anything like that. 
even though the car only has 19 miles on it. It's driving very well. And as I come around this on this back road, I'm going to see kind of just how it keeps its course going down this road because it does get bumpy and it kind of dips a little bit. Still an overall comfortable ride so far. You probably can't see it, but on the road here, on the right side, it kind of slants down. And I'm feeling, you know, I feel like I'm being tipped just a little bit, but the ride is still quite comfortable. Now, the suspension isn't adjusting or anything, but I mean, it's driving fine. No, I'm going to say that this suspension is just, the ride overall is steady. It's not great, certainly not bad, but it's, it's comfortable. I just took that bump and, uh, wasn't bad at all. After this, I'm going to drive a 20 Acadia four cylinder. I'm going to see how that compares to this one. And I really like the leather seats in these all terrains. They just feel nice and soft. Like in the 13, 14 Yukons. There you have it, the 2019 GMC Acadia All-Terrain.